But is it fair to say that there is a huge concern about the economic impact of a government shutdown if it is prolonged beyond just the longest that we've seen already? Well, Tom, I absolutely think that's true. I think even the White House has said that uh, there's about a tenth of a percentage point impact on economic growth for each week that the shutdown continues. But I think the report that you just heard really goes to the heart of the matter, which is that the residual effects, uh, people who can't get loans. Here in Washington, uh, they just uh, announced that the metro is losing some $400,000 a day uh, because of federal workers not taking the, the train to work. It's the, the small businesses, the lunch places here in D.C. that are really uh, also affected. And I think there's not enough attention being paid to that. So it is really worrisome. My, my, Mike, well, we, we've heard reports now that more and more applications or demand have been out there to tap people's retirement funds from a hardship standpoint. Is that something that you're seeing play out? And how dangerous could that be for those workers who are trying to, in essence, raid their retirement accounts to help bridge the gap because they can't make ends meet right now? Yeah, that's something that um, really should be a very, very last resort. Um, people should try to do everything they can not to touch that money because, as you said, you know, there are penalties and, and taxes that come into play. There's actually some legislation that has been batted around on the Hill uh, that is being th thought about to be introduced uh, to allow federal workers to, to tap in maybe penalty free. Uh, that's got to go through the whole system, and I don't expect that to happen anytime soon. Uh, so I think federal workers should be very, very careful about doing that. What can these workers do in terms of a plan to help them bridge the gap between now and when they actually get a paycheck again? We know that federal contractor or federal employees full time will get and are entitled to their full back pay. But what from a financial planning or advisory standpoint can be done to help them kind of make that way before they get paid again? Well, I think there are a couple of things. So certainly you need to look at your budget. You need to look at uh, what you can cut, cut back on uh, right now. Uh, and also, uh, you know, talk to your lenders, uh, talk to your, uh, you, you know, your financial institutions uh, to see if they'll be flexible on uh, some of those payments, uh, particularly for the federal workers. As you point out, they are guaranteed that pay. So that pay is coming. Uh, the more difficult situation, though, as we all know, is the federal contractors who may not be guaranteed pay uh, and, and others uh, on that residual effect, uh, the small business owners who depend so much on federal workers for their business. Um, so that's a more difficult situation. But obviously just trying to figure out ways to, uh, to stretch the, the, the cash that you have uh, and work with financial institutions to see if they'll uh, you know, make uh, exceptions to their uh, situation, given the situation.